Hello everyone, it's Mayor Weiss from my home here in Shaker. I wanted to touch base like I have been doing regularly with you to give you a little update on what's going on in the community um, and across the state. First, let me start by saying thank you to the many volunteers in our community. Uh, I'm not surprised at all by the number of people who have stepped up to volunteer to help us through this uh, challenging time whether it be our volunteers who are replacing elastic bands on our masks, to those that are working on food drives and pan food pantries, um, and our children that are making cards for our seniors. All these things uh, are so meaningful to our community and I really appreciate uh, everyone stepping up um, uh, like they have. So a couple updates. You probably have already heard that the Ohio Director of Health extended the uh, stay-at-home order uh, until May 1st. I know this is very difficult and disruptive in our lives um, and very challenging, but this uh, stay-at-home order is really critical. The statistics show that by staying home and reducing the spread of the virus, we are in fact saving lives every day. In addition, we're protecting our first responders and also taking the burden off our healthcare system. So we appreciate you complying with uh, that order. One thing that is new in the order, I know there's a lot of attention these days on social distancing. Well, one of the new uh, additions to the order is that uh, essential businesses that can remain open, uh, stores like grocery stores, hardware stores, pharmacies, etc., have to establish a maximum capacity of people that can be in the store at any given time so that there's adequate room for social distancing. This is something um, that we have heard is, is a concern by our residents and this order addresses that. So a few other reminders. Um, when you're out and about, if you have to go out at all, hopefully you're uh, walking in the neighborhoods and the parks, do maintain those social distancing protocols. Give people a wide berth, six feet at a minimum, but maybe even a little bit more as people are now becoming more sensitive to the social distancing protocols. If you're at home, uh, please don't forget um, to fill out your census form. You should have received something in the mail by now, but please know you can complete the census online, by phone, or by mail, um, or go to the census.gov website uh, to complete the census. It's vitally important that you do that, so we encourage you to do that uh, while you're at home. Um, also, if you have not voted, um, I wanted to make sure you knew that there was still a, an opportunity to vote. Um, the May 17th primary was suspended, so there was no um, in-person voting and there will not be. But you can still vote by mail. So you can request a ballot by noon on April 25th. And as long as you get your ballot postmarked by April 27th, your vote will count. So please uh, complete um, uh, your absentee ballot if you haven't done that already uh, by mail. Um, we encourage you to make sure you vote. Um, and then uh, lastly, uh, you may see the flag uh, behind, behind me. If you hadn't uh, heard, the governor asked us to fly our flags to show support for our community, our state, and our nation. So I hope you will join me in, in putting up your flag outside your home. With that, let me just uh, remind you uh, that we are in this with you. We are in this together. So please be healthy, be well, and I look forward to talking with you again soon.